onto a few uh, wall pieces over on this side of the of the gallery. Um, the hanging drop pieces, which were in a show I had at, um, at Art by the Sea, aren't in the sale. That, if you've got any interest in these pieces, I've got some more still at Art by the Sea, or these ones are kicking around, just get in touch. They're all to do with gravity, hanging and balance. And I did a whole show last year between lockdowns, um, and these are just the last few ones left. Um, but the pieces I've got in the sale today is one of my normal pointed oval uh, landscape-y shields. One of those shields made with a perlite based clay. Um, it's $300 for him, a little uh, gabion cage type person in there. There's a, something back at the studio piece we found hidden on the shelf, a woven. I did a number of woven shields, oh, probably 10 years ago. And that's just this plain white one, which, which look really pretty. There's a shadow catching. They've sort of got fire and cracks and everything. They're quite, quite fragile pieces, so really wouldn't want to send it, but what, sell, send it anyway. But it's it's a lovely um, uh, sort of quivering piece, and that's the same mould. And I smashed the mould, re-glued it back together, and I made the shattered shield. So, so that's an interesting. That's the very last piece I made from that plaster mould. Uh, it's a paper clay pressed in, but by smashing the mould and rejoining it, you get this shattered effect. Uh, but you can't do many, you can't do many because it just keeps falling apart. <laughs> so, um, 120 for each of those two older older shield pieces. There's a land, um, landscape architecturally referenced piece. I did groups of those. Um, I'm just selling these last few ones off individually because I'm throwing away the moulds of those. Um, that's number one up on the wall there. There's a couple of little figures. And I've got a couple of other pieces from that series here. That's number two, there's a, there's a figure. So they hang on the wall, sort of, yep. And they just reference landscape, hills, or architecture. And there's number three. So you can buy all three and make yourself a, a composition, or just buy them individually. They, they, they were sort of a, an idea. And they've each got a, a ghostly figure in each one. How, how much are they? And we decided 60 bucks each, each piece. And here's another one that was from another uh, uh, from a show that it didn't get into the show. I edited it out, but the, that was quite a nice. There's a ghostly figure there in an arch form, and this is in this one of my strontium glazes. So you get that little wee green coming through from the oxide underneath, and that's another just a hanging architectural form piece there, and that's sixty bucks as well. Um, Here's an oldie, an oldie but a goodie. This is, I've had this for a long time and really we don't have the space for it anymore. So putting this out at 300, it's Flight. I've got another piece that's called Flight. This is the original one I made many years ago. It's on a um, MDF base and it's got a crank. And if you, if you wind it fast enough, you can get it to lift. <laughs> sure. So, yeah, no, yeah. I won't do it here because yeah, it's quite, you have to be quite energetic to get it to lift it. So, you've got the little brass, there's a brass crank in there. It's, um, there's the access panel to get it the very complicated mechanism inside. Um, and it's endless fun with the whole of the family, this one. Kim's going to be sad if that goes. Yeah, Kim's going to be sad. Sorry, Kim. But um, <laughs> I, I have a strong suspicion will end up in a box when we move. So I'd rather, if somebody who's got a family who wants to have a piece like this to entertain the children for hours, it's available well, yep. 350 for that one. Yeah, 350. You did say 300 before. It's gone up. 350. We did decide 350. We did decide 350. Yeah. All right, so a couple of finial pieces again, referencing those uh, landscape, the finial show. These are actually from I Cement. Um, uh, experiments so these are different combinations of aluminum and cement fluxes fillers and then pressed into a polystyrene mold and then glazed and fired at our normal temperature of about 1200 degrees 1250 12, degrees um, so those, those are nice simple finial uh, profile pieces how much are they oh, they can go 120 120 yeah, yeah. Chippers okay. chips. <laughs> chips. <laughs> oh, and here's another. This was a throw in and assembled half. So they were thrown, cut in half, um, and assembled. And that idea was a finial piece on those, yeah, 
and it hangs on the wall. You can buy the, t I did make it so it hangs as one long piece, but you can buy them individually. 60, what do we put on this? Oh, uh, 80. 80, 80, 80, bucks, 80, 80 bucks, bucks each. So they're, they're throwing white earthenware, a zinc glaze, and they're quite. They've yeah. got a few little um, cracks. In fire, them, firing, yeah. firing, 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 little firing cracks. bits and pieces. Not so they're structural. Not, not structural, yeah. but it was an idea that I could uh, evolve into a mould and but I never did. That was the one piece I made for that, yeah, for that never idea. Did. Right. <laughs> all things, <laughs> all things I never yeah. did. And I think the cone. <coughs> oh, cone, cone city. Cone so city. the little answer. So this is on a wooden um, panel that's been I've painted uh, uh, um, stained a white stain underneath a, a varnish and there's a little little group of houses there landscape and this is a, a cone that's made from a, a preserved piece of rusted iron it was actually a bit of Dexian shelving it got really really rusty and then I preserved it with the metal preservative ah. um, welded it so it's got little pins on the back so there's a wee gap there and the, these this cloud form I was doing a lot of hanging pieces, and actually I'm going to show you one later that That's relates ceramic. to this. Yeah, so these are ceramics, zinc glaze with an alkaline glaze underneath. And so that's referencing um, places like Mount Eden, Auckland landscape, a volcano, and a cloud above it with a little city. So that's, yeah, it's on a wooden panel mounted on another wooden frame. So that's, what do we decide, half price? 600? 600, yeah. 600. Yeah, half price. Half price. Half price. Half price. Um, we we walking through. Okay, so we'll just take you through to the last, the last piece. Um, oh, there might be something else on the way, but um, you can see the mess we're living in as we. Oh, there was this one. This is a nice block sculpture, uh, and we. That's. Um, I've got a inset interior landscape. This outside landscape inset. It's inset into the sculpture into the um, piece there, and it's all gone blue, I, I coloured it with cobalt and the cobalt really picked up. So the zinc white glaze, and zinc glaze and cobalt makes blues, very strong blues. Um, so we had about 400 on that, a couple of hundred for him. That's all right, isn't it? Yep, yep. yep. Uh, paper clay pressed into a mould. Right, we're gonna go through. These are a lot of the solds all piling up. This is the mess we're living in at the moment because we, we, we're leaving. Um, but the piece I wanted to show you, show in here, and there's another one just in the entrance of the studio I'll show. This is an older, older wall assembled piece. It's called Ocean. Uh, this, this series grew and grew until I had a very large installation at one of the portages a number of years ago before Tiru was built. So that's quite a while ago, probably eight years ago. This is an earlier version of it. It's very easy to live with. I've, we found this in a box about six months ago. <laughs> and I'd forgotten we still had one because I'd made a series of them. I'd forgotten them. So we popped it up. Unfortunately, Matakana, the walls are completely not right for the sort of piece. They're um, tongue and groove and it would look silly. But so we've decided to let it go. It's again, we use a hanging plan. So to say that up onto the wall, there's little punched holes, you mark where the nails go. Each piece, each little porcelain piece is numbered, hangs on a single nail, and um, easy to pack up and take with you. Very easy to pack. We could take this with me, but it will literally end up in a box. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm obsessed with this thing. Things not ending up in a box for the next ten years. Yeah. If somebody can enjoy this piece, I'm happy. We're at half price again. We would sold those for about twelve hundred, six hundred for this one, um, and. Uh, the, I keep saying this, this is a very easy piece to live with. It's mm. just a simple, simple re reference to natural um, rhythms. That's all it was about. And the big, big one I made at Portage, it ended up in a restaurant. Uh, later I revisited it for a restaurant. It ended up seven metres long. Imagine that, seven metres long. <laughs> That's what I sort of, I made moulds and I made a very big one. Uh, that was the end point of that particular series. But this was the beginning point of that particular series, Ocean. Mm. So that's available. Um, um, the last little one is, was literally a back of the studio in a box. A few pieces I've totally forgotten I'd made, and I never figured out how to hang them. And, and just I had a couple of hours and I figured out a hanging system. And they're just uh, clay drawings um, assembled into a group. And I was just investigating different ways of 
of, of reflecting on, on the nature of the material we use, clay, and, um, and that's it there, assembled into three hanging, hanging. they're quite fragile, but they're, once they're on the wall, they're safe as, they just hang on a little, little metal hook, and then put it on a nail, get them roughly in the right position, and they make a little group. So it's three hundred, hundred dollars each. Quite a nice, nice discovery in the back shelves of the studio somewhere to see. Oh, that was quite a nice idea. So yeah. that's that was nice to put out. And if anybody wants it, that's there. Is it? Nothing, nothing else down there. Oh no, this is, this is the, stu <laughs> the studio. <laughs> the studio is all dismantled. Dismantled. Yeah. There's the wheels still there. The that's got to go. Yeah. Hopefully, when we get out of lockdown, we'll be getting a truck and we'll be heading all that stuff up north. So that's our, um, that's our, that's our wall. Uh, video. Um, we've probably got a Alden Ends video. Yeah, this place, isn't there, which is similar to um, Totra, that I, I'm hoping to put a photo up of it. Place is, yeah. Yeah. We'll put a photo up of place. place. Um, that's in the box. Oh, and that. shelf. Shelves. And shelf. Okay, those two pieces, and we'll put a price on those. Yeah. We'll just put photos up of those. Nice. Um, if, if you wanted to see that. Um, Ret oh, it's return shelves, isn't it? Return shelf, yeah, and I had I had one of those in a, in a portage. This is a nice, a smaller one in a box there that we'll have yeah. to put a photo of. So that's our video for today. Thank you. See you tomorrow.